Hey guys, how are you doing? It is going to be a lot easier to set up a ringtone on iPhone once Apple releases iOS 26. Apple recently released iOS 26 developer beta 1. I have published a video about the liquid glass or clear glass design that they have released in the iOS 26. I shared my thoughts and opinions in this episode. We'll leave a link to that in the description and in the first pinned comment. You may check that out if you want to. And the first important thing is when it comes to setting up a ringtone, either we need to use the GarageBand application or use a computer with iTunes software or Finder app if you're using Mac computer to trim and create a ringtone on your iPhone or you need to download a specific ringtone directly to your computer from some website, then you need to move it to the iPhone to in order to set it as a ringtone. But right now with iOS 26, Apple made that process a lot easier. If you have downloaded a full song, then you can trim it using any MP3 cutter that you can download it from App Store or you can straight away download a smaller size ringtone file directly from any apps or websites and you can use that ringtone directly from the files app. For example, here it is a smaller 30 second clip. I have downloaded it from some website and here when I long press, I see the menu options. And when you tap on the share icon, you see the option called use as ringtone. So you can straight away select that option to set this particular file as a ringtone. It will be automatically copied to your settings, sounds and haptics and ringtone section. Otherwise, if you're not seeing it, then you need to tap on more in order to see the use as ringtone option. When you try to select a full song as a ringtone, when you tap and hold, then tap on share. And uh, when you select the use as ringtone, you see the you know, prompt that says file too large, choose a ringtone under 30 seconds. So up to iOS 18, we can manually copy and paste ringtones, but within the 30 seconds duration limit is still maintained. In such cases, you can download some MP3 cutter app within your iPhone. I have tried some ringtone maker apps, but all of them are showing a lot of unskippable advertisements. So that was really frustrating and I had to try several apps and finally found this one, the MP3 Cutter M4EA Music Cutter. I'll leave a link to this app in the description and in the first pinned comment. You can try this app. It has advertisements of course, but it allows us to close the advertisements and it has minimal set of ads. That's what I like about this app. If in future updates, if they change, then you need to look for any other app that does the job of cutting the MP3 or trimming the mp3 file to the 30 seconds limit only for that purpose we need this type of application so tap on the burger menu at the top left corner and you will see the option as music ringtone now select the ringtone start with the make a ringtone and here you can see the files app apple music and so many other options are there i'm selecting files app i don't think through the apple music app due to copyright reasons those files are encrypted we cannot trim or edit those songs so i haven't tried it yet but i have tried some time ago the apple music application won't allow us to copy the songs or extract them out of the music app so here i'm selecting the large music file let's go for edit and here you see the editor window you can select which song the selection menu is a little bit difficult so here when you select you will see the total selection duration here below here you know in the play area and you can select it within you know set it to within 30 seconds and then you can select the starting and ending according to your needs you can play that and you can check whether it is the correct ringtone start and end position and then you need to click on save name the specific ringtone file and then click on ok now the ringtone is saved and this is the advertisements you know once again popping up and this is the ringtone file m4r file that's saved now select the three dots here save to files and you need to select on your iphone don't save it on cloud make sure to select the on my iphone and then uh, some other file you know the downloads folder in my case i'm selecting okay so the file has been successfully saved now open up the files app and here you can see the 477 KB of file that I have just saved from the MP3 cutter app. Now I can select it by long pressing and then share sheet and use as ringtone. Now it's successfully set as a ringtone. Here I can see, you know, within the settings, sounds and haptics, the ringtone 
is the one that I have cut using the mp3 cutter and selected here. These are the other ringtone files that I'm using, you know, with older versions, I transfer them from computer. And right now you can see this is super easy. And one more thing is like, if you have set up a ringtone and you want to delete it in future, simply swipe left and you can easily delete it from the existing list of custom ringtones that you have set using the third party applications to set ringtone either you can download it directly from uh, any website or apps you know that provides the ringtone simply download it to the files app tap and select share sheet and use as ringtone that's all so it's a lot easier compared to the previous ios 18 you know and earlier versions you don't need a computer you don't need garage band app you can easily set ringtone this way and wait for the ios 26 release because right now the beta one is unstable it heats up my iphone like anything and we are expecting the official release by the end of september then you can use this feature and many more that we are going to explain in our upcoming videos Thank you so much for watching. For more useful iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day.